right? If you want to go there. <laughs>
you guys. <laughs> yeah. I shared with my father. Okay, what?
this one section that I read really caught my attention, and this is what caught my attention. Quote, some things I do help me become the person God created me to be, and some things don't. By experimenting with this idea, I quickly rediscovered that I was happier when I chose God's path. It was clear there is a direct connection between happiness and holiness. You cannot stand still in spiritual life. You cannot take a break. Taking a break is like trying to stand still in the midst of a gushing river. You're either moving upstream or being pushed downstream. And only a dead fish floats downstream. Men, what are we doing right now to become the best version of ourselves? What can we do with men to become better than we Guys, I've been down that road before. <coughs> I'm diving into whatever society needs acceptable. I've made bad choices. And I've tried to stay as far away from the church as possible. Yeah, I feel like the best version of myself. Absolutely. It's hard to change, but we need to. So where do we draw our strength and in quest to become the best version of ourselves? We look directly at the cross. At Jesus Christ, who is the most perfect human being to ever live. Jesus Christ did absolutely everything that his father willed of him, and it was not easy, but he did. If we want to look to a man who has sacrificed everything, who is full of love, humility, and kindness, look no further than the man who died on the cross for you. It was not easy for Jesus either, guys. News about he was human too. And when he was carrying that cross, he fell a lot. But every time he fell, he got it right back up. You guys might be sitting there thinking, aha! This is the part where those human people try to make me put Jesus at the center of my life. And boy, is that exactly what I did. Because five months ago, before my faith was even important to me, I was so lost in our society's idea of what a man should be. I was so consumed by the temporary pleasures of drinking and smoking and going out that I completely lost my own identity. But then I have found something that is forever fulfilling. <coughs> And that is a relationship with Jesus Christ in the center of your life. It is not only possible for you to become a better man, but it is necessary in our world today. The women in our lives need men who are rooted in selfless love. We have to understand that the women in our lives have struggles too. They face the same stuff that we do. <coughs> Pressure to look a certain way, pressure to act a certain way. How often do we degrade the women in our lives through our actions and words? Are you the man who is building them up or breaking them down? And what are we doing as men to support our sisters in Christ? Be the guy that makes girls stop thinking that we're all being <laughs> Honestly. Men, it is time for us to step up to the plate right now. If you see someone who's drinking too much in the bar or when you're with them, do the right thing and help them. If you see someone disrespect, if you hear someone disrespecting someone behind their backs, do the right thing and stop it. Every single one of us here knows what the right thing to do is, <coughs> but we all just need to be courageous and confident and act. I want to end with this piece of scripture that has stuck with me since the moment I heard it. 
from John chapter 15, verse 4. Remain in me, as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Men, our culture and the women in our lives need each and every one of us to step up right now. Every single day you will wake up and say, today I'm going to be a better man than I was yesterday. Men of the zoo, we are made for more. Are you ready to become the best version of yourself?